the easiest, cutest ornament we'll ever make. Uh, four simple steps right below. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Nicole Farr from Darby Smart, an app where we make DIY easy and fun. I'm being joined by all my creative friends. Some are expert crafters and some are not. Get ready to make talk. I'm back with Courtney Lopez Hi. and her son Dominic, <laughs> who's three and just a little shy right now. And we are DIYing Christmas ornaments today. So we are making these amazing gumball machines. We are gonna start with these giant glass balls. So we are going to fill these with sprinkles. I love <laughs> I love sprinkles okay. too. We're going to take our finals and we're going to fill it with sprinkles. <gasps> wow! Whoa! So Courtney, tell me about uh, other TV you're doing with Dominic. It's our own YouTube channel with Awestruck Whoa. and it's, it's really great because we're going to allow people to, you know, just come into our lives and kind of just a, an extension of what people see on Instagram and Snapchat. But we enjoy sharing our kids and we're real people and, and we like to show people that. That's amazing. You know, I'm in sweatpants every day and workout gear even if I don't work out and, you know, that's, that's You look like you work out though, mom of two. I, I, I mean, I try, I try, I try, but it's hard, you know, when you're a hands-on mom because I don't have a ton of help and yeah. I'm always, my kids do 9,000 things, ballet, tap, piano, you know, you spread yourself thin. Oh, we go rainbow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> do, do a lot. Do a lot? I know. Here, we got to hit it around here a little what bit. What do you think your kids have picked up from you, like from your your Broadway days. I mean, are they super musical? My daughter, who's six, Gia, she absolutely loves the theater. And you know, I think it's something that she was just born to do. Uh -huh. um, it's nothing, I never want to force things that I've enjoyed in my life on my kids. If they enjoy it, that's great. But she started da dance at two, and she takes singing lessons, and she takes piano, and she really is good. I mean, she really, really enjoys it. So that's where we are right now, and if she wants to continue doing it, great, but she is such a little theater girl. I, I, so I grew up with Little Mermaid. Well, I can do it. Okay. Singing Little Mermaid is like my core, although I can't actually no, sing. Let, let me hear it, let me hear it. He likes it, he likes it, come on, come on. <laughs> Dominic, do you want to sing Little Mermaid with me? Say, under the sea. Hold on, I know, I know. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <gasps> Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Is that the worst you've ever heard? No. <laughs> See, that's beautiful. I kind of messed this up because I went wet paint, but here's what we're doing. We're painting the tops red. I'm doing it in quite the messy fashion, but that's messy, okay. Messy, messy, look at us over here. That's this how we like... roll. Um, so we're painting the tops red, and then we're going to paint our pots red. Okay, great. We did a reality show before the wedding, and it wasn't really reality, you know? So I was perceived in a way that to this day kind of upsets me because it wasn't who I am. Now it got shaped by like producers or Yeah, things. it just it, you know, it was produced and and I get it. That's how they do things, but I was really naive back then. I didn't know much. So now when we do things, I'm just smarter about it. You want to taste one of these? Go ahead. And who do you think connects like love seeing you? Is it is it moms like me? Like just like okay, it looks like she's got this totally put together life, and I get to see behind the scenes. Absolutely, like, I love seeing that. It makes me feel okay that I'm not perfect. Well, right? nobody is, and I think the perception on social media nowadays is that you see all these people that act like they're perfect and mm -hmm. they claim to be perfect, and you know the reality is I have cellulite. I have you know we're we're not perfect people just because people see us a certain way. You know we're just very just normal people, people. and. Yeah. You know, I, I'm exhausted with the kids. I have my good days, I have my bad days. But I always say, if you come from a place of love, you can't go wrong. And I just take one day so at a time. Get this out so I can eat it. <laughs> eat these little ones. You know, like right now I'm feeding my kid off his table. You know, like that's just. <laughs> but it tastes good, right? It's good for his Does immune it taste system. Good? Okay, so I am just going to let this dry because I'm holding this one spot for my fingers. Probably. This is a very cute idea because last year I remember buying ornaments for the kids tree that were gumball machines. You did? Yeah. Oh. And now we'll have our own. I mean, they're pretty easy, right? So I was thinking they make cute, actually stocking stuffers or like girlfriend gifts. Dominic, how are the sprinkles? Good. Are they delish? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, once we finally have everything underway, I hope you tune in and see our madness and oh, I love it. things yeah. that happen in the Lopez house. I really want people to see the real us mm -hmm. and you know, why Mario and I fell in love with each other, and now we have these kids, and so it's important, 
you know, that they see the truth. Yeah, yeah. Not made up stuff. Do you have Christmas traditions that you're excited to celebrate this year? We started this tradition where on Christmas Eve we go to Disneyland. Get out. Our, our families are all over the country. So my, my sister's in Chicago, my sister-in-law. Can we give you August? Yes, my sister-in-law's in Houston and she has four kids, my sister-in-law. My sister has one, and they usually all come stay with us. So we started a tradition where on Christmas Eve, we just spend the day at Disneyland. It's amazing. And it's great, it really is fun, because it's decorated so beautifully. The kids have a blast. Then they come home and they're so tired that they go to sleep. There's no bribing, you know, go to sleep for Santa. They just... Who's at Disneyland on Christmas Eve? You know what, it's not crazy busy, but it is busy. Yeah. I think it's just people that don't like to do the normal sit-down dinner. Are there things that they picked up from Mario? Like the Mario, I know, sorry, is, you know, on entertainment television and right. then of course from Saved by the Bell. Like are right. there things from those moments that like we all know him of that they've picked up? Well now G is starting to understand what he does. She's in school and kids are, she's older and kids are smarter. They, they say, hey, you know, my mom used to watch your dad on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so now she always she wants to watch all of his old movies. He could be a mini Slater. Like do the other Saved by the Bell people all have kids? If they have kids, yeah, their I own think gender, so. <laughs> I think they do, and I think Tiffany's daughter looks just like her too. Yeah. Have you started decorating your tree this year? Yes, I'm cr actually a little crazy. I start uh, about two weeks before Thanksgiving. I do everything by myself, and then I just take my time decorating because with the kids, I'm so busy. Maybe I do it a half an hour a night. Yeah. So it just takes me a long time. And then I do all that, I want to I want to enjoy it. So I don't want to start in December and then only have it up for two weeks. Yeah, and then I, yeah. you know, take it down after New Year's. So, you know, the kids help me. I have a kid's tree in the family room where it's just all the kids, ornaments, and places we've been. I go to Michael's Thank and you. I buy all the fun, you know, things you can stick out of the tree and the big candy canes. They have a hot pink tree this year that I, I like They do? Eat. Yes, hot pink. Like a flamingo. That's cool. I need it. Okay, time's sort of flown, and I realize I'm done. And Dominic has like a masterpiece here. So this is why at my house DIY may take. He'll be ten. I have a bubblegum ornament. Dominic has a bubblegum ornament. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> On our way. <laughs> this was easy. Usually it's four steps. So fill the glass ornament with sprinkles or eat them. <laughs> Paint the top red, paint the pot red, and then glue the ornament to the pot, and you have a bubblegum ornament. Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to see what's on your tree. Um, send pics or tweet them at us to hashtag make talk, and happy, happy holidays. We'll see you next week. Is it's you are all over me? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it like mm. tastes better that way, doesn't it? I like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the house now.